Hello and welcome. Pollen Research Group is pleased to present this brief introduction to version 8.5 of Nozzle Pro. Nozzle Pro is a template-based finite element and analysis program for the pressure vessel and piping industries. Being template-based means FEA models can be specified and built with just a few pieces of data. Other FEA programs typically involve much more complexity and require much more effort to define even a simple model. Nozzle Pro was designed to be used by professionals in the pressure vessel and piping field. This includes pressure vessel and piping engineers, designers, or stress analysts. When used in conjunction with other pressure vessel and piping design and stress analysis software, Nozzle Pro improves the accuracy of calculated stresses, displacements, and loads, improves either overly conservative results or non-conservative results, and enables the analysis of vessels, nozzles, attachments, or piping that typically fall outside code limits and parameters. Some of the most common uses of Nozzle Pro are to quickly calculate more accurate stress intensification factors, flexibility factors, and stiffnesses for critical components or connections, to analyze nozzles or piping connections that experience a high number of cycles, to analyze nozzles with applied external loads, and to double check or replace the use of WRC-107 and WRC-297 calculations for local stresses. Using Nozzle Pro can be broken down into five very straightforward steps as listed here. With the proper yet minimal input data, a Nozzle Pro user can literally build and analyze an FEA model in minutes. Other FEA packages can take hours, days, or even weeks to properly set up a complete FEA model and produce meaningful results. The goal of Nozzle Pro is to provide point and click definition of the basic model geometry with the hopes that our templates cover the majority of base shell types and nozzle and attachment types found in typical pressure vessel and piping design in systems. The first step in defining a model is to select the base shell type. The supported base shell types in Nozzle Pro are listed here. Next, you select what kind of nozzle or attachment that is to be connected to the base shell type. By supporting the placement of the nozzle or attachment at virtually any location on the base shell and at any angle, the user should be able to define models that cover a wide range of geometries, some of which could be quite hard to model in other FEA packages. As you can see, with the combination of the supported base shell types and nozzle and attachment types, Nozzle Pro handles much more than just nozzles. The next steps include selecting the engineering units and entering the dimensions of the geometry. The dimensions for the base shell and nozzle and attachment are entered very quickly. The graphics shown on the bottom portion of the GUI make it very clear what each dimension or data value corresponds to in the model. Now we move on to defining the operating conditions for the model, including loads, pressures, and temperatures, if they are known. Collecting and verifying the loads that will be applied, where they should be applied, and what loads are due to weight, thermal expansion, or occasional conditions such as wind or seismic, as well as pressure and thermal states, may take an engineer a good deal of time. Entering this data into Nozzle Pro as part of the model definition takes very little time. It is worth noting that if no loads are entered, Nozzle Pro will still automatically calculate the allowable loads, stress intensification factors, and flexibilities for the defined model. Next we define the orientation of the model and the materials. Defining the orientation of the base shell and the nozzle or attachment is very straightforward, and the intended orientation can be easily verified in a later step, the model verification step. Specifying the materials of both the base shell and the nozzle or attachment, whether they are different or not, can be done very quickly using the Materials Database application, MatPro, that comes with Nozzle Pro. MatPro includes all ASME Section 2 Part D and all ASME B31 properties from the year 2000 to current. Transfer of material properties from MatPro to Nozzle Pro is seamless and quick. With the model geometry, loads, materials, orientation, and units defined, the next step is for the user to tell Nozzle Pro exactly how to perform the analysis on the defined model. The majority of this is controlled by settings found in the Options dialog box. To be sure, many Nozzle Pro customers never change the settings in this Options page, but for those who need to, changing the way the FEA model is analyzed can be done very quickly and very easily here. As this is an introduction to Nozzle Pro, we will leave the detailed discussion of all of these settings for another time. With the model and analysis options fully configured, by clicking the plot only button, 
the user is presented with a 3D model of the FEA mesh, and in this pop-up window, the user can also verify the model orientation, the defined forces, pressure conditions, and boundary conditions applied to the model. Once the model is complete and correct, the next step is to click on the Run FE button and wait for results. This kicks off the FEA calculations and the results are stored in a local database for post-processing and reporting. When the calculations are complete, you will first see a pop-up dialog box that lets you quickly view the summary table and results. This lets the user quickly determine if there are any overstressed areas in the model, if fatigue will be an issue, and gives them quick access to FEA-based stress intensification factors and flexibility factors for both the base shell and nozzle. If piping segments were added to the model, results for them are also available here. Nozzle Pro then fills in the tabular and graphical results in the main window of the application. The user can easily navigate to detailed text-based reports results or to 3D stress maps for a particular load case. We have now covered the basic process of defining, analyzing, and reporting on a simple FEA model built with primarily point-and-click functionality in Nozzle Pro. Nozzle Pro can take a simple model and provide a great deal more analysis and functionality if the end user has the need. This includes modeling and analyzing horizontal tanks with saddle supports using the ZIC method, NH reporting and high temperature analysis, including the evaluation of creep interaction with fatigue, fitness for service, essentially a conservative evaluation of the remaining service life of a component or piece of equipment, and the effect of adding piping segments to the nozzle or base shell, defining the ordering of, combination of, and calculations for complex load histories, as well as specifying either shell or brick elements to be used in the FEA model. There are many, many designs or systems where the application of FEA, as opposed to formulaic code calculations, is not only merited, but advised or called for by the codes. This list enumerates a few cases where the use of FEA is highly advantageous. We urge the viewer of this video to review our Nozzle Pro brochures and webinars for more details on when the use of Nozzle Pro is not only appropriate, but highly advisable. This concludes our introduction to Nozzle Pro. Nozzle Pro gives you all the benefits associated with performing highly accurate FEA-based analysis without having to become an FEA expert. If you want to become an FEA expert, we think using Nozzle Pro is one of the easiest and best ways to start this process. One of our senior engineers has often said this, it is absurd to use FEA on every system, and it is absurd not to use it at all. Please visit our website or call our sales group if you have additional questions. Please attend an upcoming webinar or lunch and learn to see Nozzle Pro in action and to see how it is used to solve real world problems. Thank you again for your interest in Nozzle Pro.